look over here we want to show i square is equal to minus one how can we do that start here with a complex number that complex number is equal to i which you can write as zero plus i this right here is your complex number if you graph it on a complex plane it looks right over here your real axis your imaginary axis you're looking at a distance from the origin to here your modulus is equal to one your angle right here from your horizontal is equal to pi over two when you put this right here in a polar trigonometric form you're looking at z is equal to one you have cosine pi over two plus i sine pi over two but look our interest here is to find i square let that i square be equal to z square a certain complex number square you're looking here now at a certain de moivre's theorem formula come through your formula for powers of a complex number which is going to be r square then you have a cosine n theta plus i sine n theta where your n value here is going to be two because this right here right here your square represents your n we have everything right over here in this representation i have an r square which is a one square which is equal to one i have a cosine pi over two but that'll be cosine two times pi over two because now you're bringing in an n value plus i sine 2 pi over 2. You're going to bring this into completion. This will give you your i square because this z square is representing i square. i square is equal to what? You have a 1 square, meaningless to write that. You have a 2 times pi over 2, which is a cosine pi plus i sine of pi. Sine of pi is a 0, but cosine of pi is equal to minus 1, and that's exactly how it generates, and we're done.